It's back to work for the Muhlenberg women's basketball team as they look to defend their centennial conference title this weekend at home after a week-long bye into the tournament. First up for the Mules will be McDaniel tomorrow afternoon, a team they've defeated twice before during the regular season. Leah Kosi has a preview. After becoming the first team to finish Centennial Conference play undefeated with 18 wins, the Muhlenberg women are back in the gym hungry for more. Just two games away from another title, the defending conference champs will face their first challenger tomorrow afternoon with McDaniel in the semifinals. I think they're going to come out really hard. It's going to be a pretty tough game. They're in it to win. They really want to come out and I think show us that it's hard to beat a team three times in a row. So I think that's their goal and our goal is just to come out and try our best and see what happens. First time we played, we beat them in overtime by scoring with two seconds left. So they can definitely play with us and uh, we have a lot of respect for them. So uh, we know at this point in the season, it's, it's one game at a time, as the cliches go, and we're going to worry about them uh, on Saturday. Looking at this year's squad, McDaniel will no doubt be in for a battle. Lauren Boyle, who's recently selected to the All-Centennial Conference first team for a third consecutive year, ranks in the top ten of the conference in scoring, while sophomore guard Kelly McKeon leads the conference in assist-to-turnover ratio and also holds an All-CC first-team honor. The first time going down to McDaniel was a really close game, double overtime, and we played them here. And they're just a tough team, so we'll have to come out and play hard. Kelly McKeon, you know, if there was a, there's a player of the year in our league, but there's an MVP, I think she'd have won it. Uh, there may not be a more important player to any team in the conference as Kelly McKeon is to us. She's sort of like that little engine that makes the vehicle go. Alexandra Chili and Aaron McSherry also received conference honors this week, as well as head coach Ron Roan, named the first ever Centennial Conference Coach of the Year in women's basketball. It's really a compliment to the kind of players that we have. Uh, it's nice that your colleagues and your coaches vote for you for such an award. Uh, for me, it's about not letting the kids down and, and doing my best for them. So if I've done that, then I'm pretty happy. What do you think of the coach getting Coach of the Year for the conference? I was really happy. I thought he deserved it. But despite all the hype, the team is staying focused on the task at hand, one game at a time, with the hopes of making another run at the NCAA tournament in the future. We've really tried to focus on winning the conference championship first. You know, we have a trophy up there in the, in the trophy case from last year's tournament. And one of our goals at the beginning of the season was not to let the trophy leave the building, which means we had to win the regular season so the tournament would stay here, and now we've got to win the championship so nobody takes it home. Uh, the NCAAs are obviously a great reward. I think knowing that we have a good chance for an at-large bid takes a little pressure off this weekend because it's not necessarily a lose and your season's over. Uh, so that's sort of comfort, a safety net for us. But besides that, we'd really want to win a third championship in four years because uh, that's only been done once. Tip-off for Saturday's game will get underway at 1 o'clock, followed by Franklin and Marshall and Johns Hopkins at 3, with the semifinal winners returning to the gym Sunday at 2 o'clock for the championship. At Muhlenberg College, Leah Kosey, 2 Sports.